Okay, so I lost my drone across the river and it fell down, flipped on the, the propeller so it cannot uh, fly up and next to us there is a neighbor who actually has a boat so I asked him if he can, if we can row the boat across the river and pick up the drone and he said I will help you out so yeah, let's see if I can find it it has 90% battery so I might, I might find it Okay. Let's see if I can find a drone now. Yeah. I got the drone. Now it's time to continue the flying and enjoy this beautiful scenery. Dachowie braty O, a rescue team 
Jerry taking his pass out. Welcome to Denmark. New country. For Nada. For me. Yes, you have Avengers. The reason why we are in Denmark is because of Legoland. And uh, we would have stayed longer. I have marked lots of places. Uh, the people who already got my map can see. But the thing is that um, campsites are very pricey here. Like this campsite that we are now, it's 50 euro per night, including everything I'm saying. 50 euro per night is quite a lot of money and staying 10 days like 500 euros. I cannot say anything bad because uh, you have the um, uh, swimming pool, you have a big playground, nice facilities, everything is fine. But still 50 euro it's too much and it's uh, over our budget for spending and luckily we started uh, looking for farms to stay in so we're gonna be staying in uh, two nights also in a farm for 10 euros which is quite decent and then in germany we're gonna continue like that to avoid campsites and uh, only when we need more services so yeah that's the plan now we're gonna um, rest in the campsite a little bit and then uh, go to bed early because we woke up very early so we can have energy for tomorrow morning in Legoland. Lego is all? Come We arrived at Bilun Legoland and uh, it's super busy, super crowded but we actually have tickets so uh, it's easier for us to enter and the guy is already excited since <laughs> the parking lot so let's enter! Ice cream is great, I must say, but half an hour waiting in line for an ice cream, it's crazy. I don't know what they are doing, like on the purpose they are so slow or whatever, I don't know. I have no idea and these two ice creams, three chocolate balls and uh, in a cup and a cone, it's 80 Danish kroner, so which is like 10 euro. 
Yeah, but it's very nice, very nice. If you are alone with your kid and you need to do that, you're gonna be exhausted because you need to do everything by yourself and it's oh, very, very difficult. But still we managed to get third spot. Our Lego day is coming to an end. We are about to leave now. It's, uh, we spent like five hours here. And for next time, I know that I will definitely get the um, priority card so I can get easily into the rides. Even though we didn't do the big ones because Marky is too small, but it's crazy the amount of time they are waiting, like half an hour, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, an hour. So that's too much. And uh, yeah, now we are in the cowboy town. We're gonna see how it is. Also for food, bring food for yourself because here you need to wait a lot and it's quite expensive. That's a queue for one of the not so popular attractions. So yeah, imagine what is happening down there. Bye bye Legoland. Bye bye. We did some cheap shopping, cheaper, I mean not cheap as Poland or Macedonia, but cheaper than Norway. And after two months I will have Coca-Cola, because here was one euro for one euro and something for a liter and a half. In Norway it was like four euros or something, something crazy. Okay, anyway, I'm wrapping the video here, because the new video, I, it's gonna be a little bit different uh, from something new that we're gonna experience from uh, today afternoon. So I want to make a separate video for it. So uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.